Steak is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Look at this beauty. Look at that. Size of it. Nice and thick. Marbled with fat, because that's flavour. And I'm going to cook it up for my dinner. But I'm going to do some steak with some sweet potato wedge. Is. I'm also going to do a cheats bernet sauce. Get three for one in this video, folks. Three for one. But before we dive into this, remember, watch the whole video. Don't skip because you'll miss stuff. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, allow all notifications. That way, when I upload a new video, you get told about it. Magic. And of course, all the ingredients will be below this video. But let's crack on and start with the sweet potato wedges. So we need to do a bit of prep. Ah, steak! Oh, look at these horrendous looking things. They're pretty flipping ugly looking things, aren't they? They really are. So all I'm going to do is just kind of cut out some of these khaki bits. Get off that little weird little willy bit. And you can peel them if you want. I'm going to leave the skins on because there's quite a lot of flavour in the skins. And all I need to do is to cut the sweet potatoes in half lengthways. Then in half again. And then in half again. Until you've got a nice fat wedge. Stick them in a bowl and I'll carry on with the rest. And then I'm just going to fill this up with water, just cover the potatoes. And this does two things. Firstly, it kind of gets off some of that loose mud and any dirt, but it also kind of removes some of the excess starch. And they'll happily sit to one side for half an hour, 45 minutes. Then I'm going to dress them with the spices and whack them in the oven. What am I going to do with myself for 45 minutes? Might go outside, swear at the traffic, follow a goose, talk to the animals. It's a whole world of opportunities. I talk a lot of don't I? <laughs> now, okay, right, we're ready to go. I've drained off the sweet potatoes. Just get them into a tray, roasting tin. Now, I know they look massive, but they will shrink down, trust me. And I'm going to season these bad boys up. Big pinch of salt, some pepper. I'm going to add some garlic granules. Use the dry stuff, because if you use fresh, it's just going to catch on the bottom and burn. I'd say about a teaspoon and a half. Now for some heat, some cayenne pepper. Now, I have warned you about this stuff before. Treat it with respect. Too much and it's going to blow your flipping head off. It's hot stuff. I'd say a teaspoon. And for that smoky vibe, some smoked paprika. Good heat teaspoon. Now I need some olive oil. Just slosh it in there. Good couple of tablespoons. Okay, and then you just need to get your hands in there. Kind of mix it all up. Make sure everything gets coated. And probably because I've got a bit of OCD, what I like to do with my wedges is make sure they're all standing upright. So they're all facing the same way up. Don't ask me why. It's just a thing I do because I'm a little bit crazy. There we go. I'm just going to wash my hands and they're ready for the oven. In you go. Good stuff. And they'll take like 30, 40 minutes. Gas mark five. And once we're about halfway done, we can cook the steak and make the cheats bernays. So we're going to prep this steak ready for cooking. And what I'm going to do is just take a garlic clove and I'm just going to cut it and peel it. And I'm just going to slice it lengthways to expose the inside and I'm going to rub the steak with that side of the garlic clove and I'm doing this because I want the garlic flavour on the steak but I don't want to add it to the hot pan because it will burn and I've got just a small amount of vegetable oil and I'm just going to drizzle that over each side and just kind of massage it in a bit right we need to get this pan on so I'm going to get it onto a nice high heat and you need to get the pan really nice and hot a cold pan is no good for a steak then we're going to get the steak in that's what you want to hear. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. And you'll notice I haven't put any salt and pepper because I'm going to season it after. Because if I was to put pepper on this, it's just going to burn in the pan and it's going to go acrid and not very pleasant. Now as for cooking times, I have done like a whole video on cooking steak. But I'm just going to say it, okay? It takes practice. This is a skill that you need to develop. Okay, so if you've never cooked a steak before, go out and buy one, give it a go, you'll probably mess it up. Okay, and that's fine, because that's how you learn. And just kind of make notes. How long you cooked it for? Was it overdone? Was it underdone? How did it feel? Touch it. As it's cooking, you'll get to feel and know when your steak's done to your liking. But I'm going to cook mine for medium rare. And once we've done that, we can let it rest, and then we can make the cheats bernays. Okay, so this steak's done to my liking. I'm going to take it out. And you'll notice I've got some thyme on here, some fresh thyme, just on the bottom of the board there. Plop that on, sprinkle some more thyme on top. I'm going to season it with some salt. Actually, I forgot to put the salt on the bottom as well. Okay, a bit of salt on the bottom, some pepper on the bottom of the board as well. More pepper on the top. And, just for good measure, 
just a little knob of butter. That's just gonna mingle the steak juices and just be, oh, and leave it alone. Don't touch it, don't poke it, don't cut into it. Don't even look at it. Just leave it alone for like 10, 15 minutes. Let it do its thing, it needs to relax. Because think about it, it's been in a hot screaming pan, all the juices inside have kind of gone, whoosh, just kind of contracted. So if you cut into that, it's all gonna bleed out. All the goodness, all the flavor and juice is gonna come pouring out. So leave it, leave it to relax. That allows the juices to just kind of dissipate slowly back through the meat. It's gonna be nice and tender and you'll have a perfect steak. But all this goodness in this pan here, we're gonna use for our cheats bernays. I'm gonna get the pan back on to a sort of medium heat. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and that'll kind of evaporate up. And it'll pick off all the bits from the bottom of the pan. And once the vinegar is kind of evaporated, you want two to three tablespoons of creme fraiche, Dijon mustard. Oh my God, oh, I've got mustard everywhere. Why did I do that? Look at that, caused by my own incompetence. And I've got about a tablespoon of dried tarragon. And basically you just wanna gently heat that through, give it a good old mix. And there's your cheats bernays. Our steak's resting, I'm gonna leave that for a couple of more minutes. Sauce is done. Beans are on the go, kitchen's a mess, wedges are done, and then we can assemble it and eat. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, it is cooked to perfection. Lovely, glistening, juicy steak. Let's try it, some of that sauce. I could live on steak. Oh, I've got steak juice all over the floor. I could live on steak. I wouldn't live very long, but I could live on steak. And that cheese bolognese is just nice and twangy, nice and zippy, bit of spice from the mustard. Sweet potato wedges. Oh, that bit had a bit too much cayenne on. <coughs> wow. But listen, guys, I've shown you how to make a really easy, tasty little steak dinner. And obviously, this is for one. You got more people, get more steak. Oh my God, it's all over the flipping wall as well. Is it on the ceiling as well? I do like mustard, but just not generally painted all over my kitchen, Adam Garrett. But there we go, steak, sweet potato wedges, cheese bernays. Serve it up with whatever veg you like. I've got some green beans. But if you like this recipe, leave a comment down below. Like it, share it, all that malarkey. And if you haven't done so already, Hit subscribe, because, well, why wouldn't you? Why would you not? Click the bell icon, allow all notifications, and then when I upload a video, you get notified, and you can watch it straight away and just comment at how flipping marvelous I am. And I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And bye for now. See you later. But I'm gonna go and stuff this in my face. Bye.